Hi, welcome to my channel, Maria Hearts Yarn. Today, I'm going to be demonstrating how I crochet these chunky slippers. Okay, so to start, we are going to start with a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I have super bulky number six weight yarn. Um, and this is for baby blankets. It makes really soft and cozy slippers. We are going to start with a slip stitch. Then we are going to chain two. We are then going to make a circle, a magic circle, and we're gonna do 10 double crochets in this circle. One, Two, three, four, five, six, and make sure that you're crocheting over both of the tail and through the hoop. Seven and we want to make sure that we keep a tail. Eight. Nine. Ten. Okay, now we're gonna pull this tight. Pull it as tight as possible without breaking it. And then in our first double crochet in the top of the first double crochet, we are going to slip stitch. We are then going to chain two. I'm going to grab my tail because I'm going to crochet over the tail to make it where I do not need to uh, weave the, or um, sew this in later after we are done. Okay, so I'm going to work two double crochets into each stitch around. Oops. So one, two, and then I just keep on pulling this tight. Three, Four, and I'm, I will meet you guys back here when I am done with this row. So like I said, it's gonna be two double crochets into each stitch around, and that's gonna to total uh, 20 double crochets all the way around. Okay, and then I just finished my 20 double crochets. I'm going to slip stitch in the top of my first double crochet. I'm going to chain two. I'm going to do one double crochet in the next nine stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. In the next stitch, I'm going to do two double crochets in the same stitch. And then I'm going to do one double crochet in the next nine stitches. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, and then two double crochets in that last stitch from our previous row. And then we are going to slip stitch in our first double crochet. Okay, so from this point on, we are going to do one double crochet into each stitch around. Um, let me know though in the comments below if you guys would like a, a slipper that I do that um, it sh has like uh, some detail. It kind of looks like a rope that goes up. Let me know and I'd be happy to make a video of how to do that that um, includes doing um, front post double crochets and it just it adds some detail to it. So definitely in the comments down below, let me know if you would like to see that video or how to make that slipper and I would be more than happy to make a video of how to do that. Um, so for this point on, for this slipper, I'm just doing a basic slipper and we are just doing one double crochet into each stitch around. And I'm doing this for a total of five rows. So right now we are, um, actually I think I'm gonna do six rows. I believe it's supposed to be six rows. Um, I should probably go and check my other slipper because I have recently changed my pattern for this because I used to make this with the number five weight yarn. Um, however, I made it with the number six super bulky weight yarn and I love the cushion that it adds. And so when I switched to the bulkier yarn, um, you know, it's thicker. So I had to, um, change my pattern a little bit. So I am just going to finish this row and then I will go check on that um, really quick. Okay, so I will be right back. Okay, so yes, for um, six rows total when using the super bulky weight yarn. So we are going to do chain two, one double crochet into each stitch around with a total of 22 double crochets. And we are doing this for a total of six rows. So this is going to be our final row. And I'll meet you guys back here when I am done and then we are going to work our rows for the bottom of our heel. So at the end of row six we are going to uh, slip stitch, we are going to chain one and then we're going to turn our work. We are going to work one single crochet in the next 17 stitches. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17. We're going to chain one and turn our work. Now we are going to work in the back loop only and we chain one and we're gonna work one single crochet in the same 17 stitches. Two, three, so by working in the back loops only, we are going to add a little bit of texture and character to the slipper. 
you do not have to do this. Um, I just like the way that this looks. It adds nice character to it. Um, we are going to do this for a total of six rows. So I'm going to show you a couple of these and then I will let you guys go on your own to finish the rest of them. Okay, so here I am at the end. We are going to chain one, turn our work. Now in the back loops, we are again working in the back loops only. One single crochet in the next 17 stitches. Okay, uh, we're gonna do this for a total of three more rows. Like I said, totaling in six rows total. So I will meet you guys back here when I am done with my sixth row of doing chain one, turning our work, working in the back loops only, one single crochet, and the next 17 stitches. Okay, so there is my six rows. So now we need to sew this heel together. And the easiest way to do that, so this is the outside of our slipper, of course. Um, and we need to keep it where the right sides, we're going to keep the right sides together. And what we are going to do is um, we are going to crochet, single crochet, through both ends of the slipper. So let me show you guys one more time here. Okay, so I lay my slipper down like this. I then put it where the two ends are open. These are, this is our outside, this is our right side. We're going to put the two right sides together and then turn it like this and going through both sides of there we're putting our crochet hook through both sides and we're going to crochet all the way down four five six seven Okay, now let me go get some scissors. Let's cut our yarn and leave a pretty decent tail so that we can weave that in. I'm going to do a chain one to fasten that off nice and secure. And that is our slipper. So this is what it's like on the inside. Very comfy. Your heel will fit very nicely in there. So now the only thing left to do is we are going to attach our yarn and we're going to do a border around the top here. So let's attach with a slip knot and we're going to do one single crochet into each stitch around and I am weaving over my tail. Make sure you pull that tight so that it ends with a very nice spot there. And I do not even count how many single crochets I have around. Um, I just crochet around um, keeping an equal distance between each stitch. You guys are going to be amazed at how comfortable these are. And they are so quick to make. Oops. Oops. 
Okay, slip stitch in that first single crochet. Do a, a chain one. Again, leave a pretty decent amount of tail. Pull that tight. Okay, let's weave these in. I like to use these plastic needles with the very large opening. I'm going to turn the slipper inside out. And to fasten this off, weave our ends in. Just go in and out of the stitches. Pulling tight to make sure that it doesn't come loose and that it's secure. In that um, chain one that we did before, um, at the very end there, when I went to go cut off the yarn, that is gonna make it hold a lot better as well. And then this one, same thing. Okay, and I am going to go and make my other slipper and then I will meet you guys back here to end this video. Okay, my slippers are all done and um, they are very snug up around my ankles. Um, I love wearing them with socks. I'm not wearing them with socks right now, but I do love wearing socks underneath them and they are so squishy they're warm. Um, you can also on Amazon buy a nonstick spray to put on the bottom of them because they are soft and slippery, especially if you are walking on hardwood or tile or even vinyl floor. Um, so yeah, thank you so much you guys for watching me make these. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps my channel out. And happy holidays. Christmas is a few days away. These are actually a Christmas present for my mother-in-law.